Next is the Transformers Generations Studio Series 86 from the Transformers the Movie. It was a cartoon movie back in 1986. We have the leader class, Dinobot, Slug, and Daniel Witwicky. I picked up this figure from my local Toys R Us store for a whopping $60. Oh my goodness. Crazy, man. But yeah, so happy to actually have him in hand. Let's get this guy or these guys out of packaging. Let's take him out of the box. Got the instruction sheet. Right here. Okay. He's got a uh, diorama. The Quindison Pit of Judgment, I believe. Very nice. It's got a G1-esque, G1-styled blaster. It's not a flat gray uh, plastic that they used for the gun. Comes with, this is, I think, the best part of this figure. You've got Daniel Witwicky. There's nothing to indicate it is Daniel because they didn't paint the inside or... Any, but you all really need to know that, right? And can he transform into his guns? He can't. Don't really need him transforming. You just he just needs to look like something like Daniel with Wiki in his exosuit. So yeah, super cool. This is the best part of this set, I, I believe. <laughs> okay, and let's take a look at sl slug or slag. Officially, he's called Dinobot Slug, but back in the movie, in the 80s, he was called Slag. Now, apparently, you can't use Slag now. So, he looks good. He's good size, leader class, almost the same as Grimlock. Let me just plug this back in, just to fold that up. Okay, it everything, the kibble folds up nicely on the back. He's got his dino wings, which is much like the old toy. Bits of kibble right here on the Dinobot head that uh, they, there's nowhere else to go but put it there. Dinobot head right here, the horns, the horns are silver. So I guess they are show accurate and not toy accurate. Same with the gun. He doesn't come with a sword. Maybe they could have melted this and turned it into a sword. That could have saved them some money. Overall, it's got nice animation colors. I love the head sculpt, metallic uh, eyes, metallic blue for the visor or for the eyes. Nice red plastic, it really feels premium. Uh, the hips, they do feel kinda cheap, just the hips, but everything else feels hard, solid, and premium. So I'm liking it. Uh, these are supposed to be where the stickers are. Uh, they've, they've done some tampos on it, which is nice. I'm not really a big fan of stickers because they wear, they wear out over time. That's the only reason. I love stickers, but over time, it's not good for the toy. So nice paint, nice gold, silver, gray. Overall, I love the aesthetic that this, this figure is coming off. Articulation, he's got a ball jointed neck, is it? Yeah, it is a swivel neck and yeah, it goes up and down. Waist, very nice. Ratcheting uh, arms, shoulders. Bicep swivel, yep. Hinge elbows, double jointed, yep. Swivel wrist, very cool. Uh, hips, you can do the splits, forward and backward. Ratcheting as well. Thigh swivel, ratcheting knee joint. Is it double? Yeah, it's a double jointed knee. Probably because of transformation. And then uh, rocker tilts uh, for the ankles. So everything that a leader class needs to do this figure has it, he's beefy. This is how a Dinobot figure should have been. Not taking anything away from the old G1 Dinobot toys because those are still one of the best G1 toys out there. But this is my Dinobot slug. This is how he should look like. And he's beefy, he's chunky, uh, great articulation, great aesthetic. And if I can just plug this in. Nice posability. Me slug. Oh, sorry. Me slug. Destroy the Decepticons. So transformation. Get rid of the weapon for the time being. Okay. 
and go ahead and fold those fists. Rotate them this way and then fold them out of the way. Rotate and then fold them out of the way. All right, and do that and do that. Okay, all right, and then tail is gonna come out of here just for the time being. It's gonna stick out like that. Okay, and then you're gonna rotate that waist like that. Make sure it's all aligned, okay? And then you're gonna lift these pieces right here, fold out these dino legs. I thought this was so cool. This is probably one of the best engineered uh, dino bots leader class figures i've seen i mean we've had a lot of deluxe class dinobots but wow thank goodness they made it into a leader class okay go ahead and fold these back just like that these are gonna fold back like this like that okay all right and then uh i guess we could do the head fold that out all right fold that down at this point, you're gonna to want to fold down the head and fold up the lower jaw of the dinosaur. And then the shoulders are gonna collapse inside that cavity. Uh, and then just tab like that. It's on a double joint, double hinge right there. It's a little tight, you just need to Push it in, tab in, and then close this this chest piece back up, just like that, and you should be good to go. You want to compress this whole leg assembly up like that. So first thing you want to do is you want to bend the knees, the higher joint, the upper joint up like that. It's on a ratchet like that. And then you want to fold up the hips all the way up like this that and then these lower legs you're gonna ratchet them down like this and then they're gonna slot onto those notches right there you're gonna tab in like that okay now make sure there's a little bit of a gap don't don't tab it all the way in because these smaller tabs right right here on the tail they're gonna slot onto those holes right there so you're gonna have to find a way to squeeze that in before tabbing those lower legs properly uh, onto those slots. So eh, it's a little bit of a simultaneous transformation, but if you do it properly, the pieces should just fall into place, just like magic. That's one of the great things about the engineering of this particular figure. Everything just falls nicely into place. And then these gold bits right here, they're gonna tab in and secure those legs. And then what you wanna do is just fold the wings and then they're gonna tab and secure the torso. Just tab right there for that slot right there. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay. And there you go. There's a peg right there. If you have some blast effects, you can plug those in. The Omega Supreme and Jetfire blast effects, you can plug those in. He's the flamethrower of the Dinobot, so that could work. And then the gun, you could just plug it in here just to complete the tail. Don't plug it in all the way if, if you're going to transform this figure one too many times. If you plug it all the way in, you could, but it, it's a little bit difficult to remove. So what I do is I just plug it in halfway, and it will stay. It'll still look good. So yeah, I'm really loving this Dinobot mode. This is yeah definitely the best Dinobot slug we've had in a long time. Transformation was pretty smooth, not too difficult, but not too simple. So pretty much involved. I love how the pieces just fall into place. If you remember Daniel, you can just mount him right there on top. You can ride slugs. I thought that was pretty cool. Lots of playability with this alt mode. Very, very nice. Look at the detail. Look at all the dino parts, dinobot parts, all the detail sculpting on the legs, on the side, the 
detail. That's where your money goes to. The details, the engineering uh, of this figure. Just absolutely well done. As I mentioned earlier, the colors are spot on. The colors are great. Engineering is great. Transformation, very nice. And the alt mode, just absolutely stunning. Very, very happy with this figure. Some final thoughts on Dinobot Slug. Definitely a very definitive, if not the most definitive, generations Dinobot Slug we've had. Now, despite this Daniel with Wiki, I still think this figure is a great figure. It's going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. It would be an 11 if they melted this plastic and this and just gave him a sword. I think that would have made this figure absolutely phenomenal, more than perfect. But uh, I, I guess they needed a way to bring us or give us a Daniel with Wiki figure. So, okay. Nevertheless, it, the figure is great. Best of luck to everybody hunting this figure down. It comes packed with Grindor as a case of two leader class figures for the Studio Series line. Everyone's going to be gunning after this figure. And uh, I wish you all the luck in hunting this figure down. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this new Studio Series 86 Dinobot Slug. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.